Oh, really? And that, a cornbread cookie is enough. Oh, yeah. Eli, what are we doing? Is that a kettle? Yes, it is. What are we going to do today? Uh, making Christmas cookies. Yay, what shape are they going to be? Um, toys. And they're called? Papa Say it. A Papa Cacker. <laughs> Peppa Cacker. Yay, let's make some. You want to? And Mom, they said I can eat one. That's right. When they're all done, you like to eat one. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, first let's measure out the dry ingredients. So we need three and a quarter cups of flour. I need oh. you to count with me, okay? So this is one. Here, can you dump this? Mm -hmm. Is it too big? Ah, I it. Okay, one. Uh, one, two. Yep, two. Dump in number two. Clack it. This is the half. Then let's do ground cloves. That's what I'm dumping it. You can dump that in. Good job. Put it with the lid. Oh, there it is. All right, now it's time to stir it. Okay, now, do, do it gently so that you don't make it come out of the bowl. Do it gently so it doesn't come out of the bowl. Oh! Did some come out of the bowl? Yep, some. That happens. I better do this job, okay? Okay, then I can put the maple sauce. Crack the egg in. Can I put the maple sauce? Yes, here, let me reach my face. But I just need a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit? Okay. So we need two and a half cups of flour. Okay. Two and a half cups of flour. Okay. Two and a half cups That's right. Here, you hold this. And I'm gonna pour the maple syrup into it. Pull it over the bowl. And then I can dump it in. Yes, you may dump it. Okay, hold it over. Here it comes. Blood, blood, blood. Okay, dump that. Now can I, I, then I can. You can look, look it when we're all done. Hang on. Okay, there's one. Then I can look. Yes, let's see right Okay, and there's two. Dump, dump, dump. No, really dump it good. Hang on, you know what? We need one tablespoon of water, so let me get that from the faucet. No. Now we need to store it. Can it. <laughs> you like maple syrup? Mm -hmm. Watered down maple syrup? Is it good? Mm -hmm. It tastes like pancakes. It tastes like pancakes. You know where maple syrup comes from? A treat. Yeah, what kind of treat? A maple syrup. A maple syrup tree. Yeah, maple tree. A sugar maple. Do they grow around here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know one time me and Grandpa and Uncle Caleb tapped some maple trees and, and I made maple syrup out of the sap? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll pour a little bit of this in. But we need a lot of it. We'll dump it all in, but we do it a little bit at a time. The rotten egg will make you sick. But, uh, it's, not, you. it's not rotten, it's just raw, which means not cooked. You can only eat cooked things. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It's a little dry, but hopefully it'll be okay. Can I lick it? No, because there's raw egg, remember? Yeah. No way. No way, Jose? What's in here? Yeah, okay, you want to put one in the fridge and I'll put one in the fridge. Okay. So we have we can wait on it. Uh, is it going to take a long time? Uh, it takes about an hour. Okay, we'll set them there, okay? Yeah, because we can make them. Now, got some done. Eli, are you ready to try one? Yes. Here you go, Eeky Boo. Thanks. You're welcome. Tell me what you think. Good? Cool. The little boy has been retrieved by his mother and we made quite a good dent on the cookies. We made about half of them before lunch 
Then we actually ran, Eli and I had lunch with Mariah, and then we came back here and watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer it, while Auntie rested and tried to get Eli to rest too. Not very successfully. But so now that he's gone, I've baked, I've got the last tray of cookies in the oven, baking the other half. And I made um, icing for the cookies um, using powdered sugar, maple syrup, and a dash of cinnamon. So no water, just to use maple syrup for the liquid. Um, it'd probably be more flavorful if you use like imitation maple flavoring, but I don't know, I kind of like using the real maple syrup. It's kind of fun to me. So yeah, just mixing that up at, um, for the rest of the cookies now. The first batch is iced. Actually quite a few of them got sent uniced. Um, some went to Mariah and some went home with Eli for his siblings. But guess what? It is snowing outside. Can you see? So exciting. <laughs> Let's get this mixed up. behind opening advents. Worked these two days. This is today and I had Eli. Should have had him help me open them. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Ingrid Bergman. Mm, look how red. The red's a little different in person than it shows up on the camera here. Quite pretty. That's 13. Maybe that may be the most saturated color I've ever seen from in the light and goblet. Very beautiful. Oh, frosty rose hips. Oh, that's so pretty. Very Christmassy, too. Oh, I love it. That's 14. Oh, Hellebore. Not sure how to say that. Oh, how pretty. It's like dusty, purpley. Oh, so beautiful. I add them. I'm going to have to rearrange these to fit them properly. So, have them standing up right now.
hello happy thursday december 22nd so once again on my work days i took hardly a new video i don't think i did any yesterday i actually ended up working monday a little bit and tuesday and wednesday um they offered special orders for whole quiches so had a little bit extra baking to do at work this week but it was super festive and just the shop was so busy and from the kitchen I could hear people laughing and just having a good time. It was just so, so cheerful and wonderful. So today it is super snowy. We're actually supposed to have blizzard-like conditions. The temperature has dropped from about 22 this morning down to below zero now and that's Fahrenheit. Um, so it's pretty chilly out there and um, so I'm probably just going to stay in, um, may end up running to a store tonight with Mariah for some last minute gift things. Um, but if not, he is planning on coming over here to Amy's house and we're going to wrap presents. So I am working on his sweater. I finished the first sleeve and I'm on the second sleeve. Got this much done and I only have a couple days left. So I need to hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> I always do this. I, you guys know I started in October and yet here I am at the last minute rushing to get done. So the sleeve, the second sleeve is the last part to knit and then I just have to sew the collar down and sew the sleeves in and sew on some buttons. So shouldn't be too much. It should be doable, but I don't know why I always do this myself. Um, I don't think I have anything to say right now. Just wanted to pop on and say that. And yeah, better keep knitting. Completely random side note. Look at these amazing vintage inspired Tupperware that I got. I did not need them, but that didn't stop me from buying them. So they are, oh, I forget what they call it. It's like the okay, Servalier. It was called the vintage Servalier set. So they are in those wonderful vintagey colors, just like the Wendelier bowls. They start with blue as the biggest. They're actually bigger than I was expecting, which is funny because the Wendelier bowls ended up being smaller than I was expecting. But anyway, they have the lids that have that kind of starburst looking design that I think you're supposed to be able to seal it with one finger, like just, well, maybe not, but anyway. And then these tumblers came free with the set. Free being in air quotes because it's not like the set was cheap, but um, they're just so cute. And they even have seals for the cups. So that's kind of fun, but thought you might enjoy seeing that.